Hey everyone, Nathan Firth here and back with another video from ServicePortal.io. In this video, I'm going to discuss my top 5 favorite features in the latest Paris release and walk through some of the new capabilities. If there's a particular feature that you're excited about but that isn't mentioned in this video, post it in the comments below and as always, be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with our latest videos, insights, and tutorials on everything ServiceNow and Service Portal. Let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have a number of new enhancements to the Service Portal, including a brand new portal analyzer that provides a summary of all of the widgets that appear on your Service Portal pages. You can use this data to better understand widget customizations as well as page usage. Another feature I know many of us have asked for is support for user registration. Well, I'm very excited because in Paris it provides a brand new configurable registration form for external users to sign up for an account directly from the portal. And finally, the new standard ticket page which provides users with a consistent way to view all of their submitted requests and tickets. You can configure the standard ticket page for different request types from the standard ticket configuration module where you can specify which fields to display as well as configure a widget to display any UI actions. At number 4, we have the new Script Debugger Console. In the Paris release, a console has been added to the Script Debugger that allows developers to evaluate script expressions in real time. This is especially useful when debugging the server script of a widget since I can set a breakpoint and execute expressions within the context, scope, and thread in which the execution is paused. For example, here where I've set a breakpoint in the middle of a while loop, and I'm able to call getUniqueValue to see the sysid of the current record within the loop. At number 3, we have the new GraphQL API framework. Although GraphQL has secretly been available in ServiceNow for a few releases, in Paris we can now create custom GraphQL APIs to query record data. To start, we need to define an endpoint, and then we can associate a number of resolvers to properly fetch the data. In this example, we will fetch a user's available PTO balance. To test the API, I'm using an external tool called GraphEQL. In an upcoming video, I will be talking more about the advantages of GraphQL and how you can query across multiple tables within a single request from within your Service Portal widgets. At number 2, we have the Delegated Request Experience. Yep, that's right, we can now request items from multiple people from a single request. The delegated request experience can be enabled on any catalog item by simply adding the new requested for variable. When viewed from the portal, you'll also notice an additional icon on the field which allows you to select multiple users. And when we view the request, you'll see that it has generated a separate rhythm for each user. Speaking of new fields, in Paris, ServiceNow has also added two new variable types for HTML and attachments. And that is awesome, because now we can display inline HTML as well as attachments fields directly on the form. And finally, at number one, comes a feature that many of us have been requesting for a really long time. It's the support for Delta loading and global apps in Source Control. In previous releases, when you would apply remote changes from Source Control, Studio would uninstall and reinstall the whole application, which means any records or configurations not committed would get wiped out. But now, with Delta loading, it will instead only pull down the changes from the repo, leaving the application intact on your instance. And as if that was not enough, ServiceNow has added support for committing apps in global scope. Wow, cue the fireworks. I don't know what else to say, but thank you. This opens up so many new opportunities for developing and maintaining applications on the platform. So this is clearly my number one feature in Paris. And there you have it. My top five features in the Paris release of ServiceNow. What are some of the features you guys are most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. 
And if you find this content helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for everything ServiceNow and Service Portal. And until next time, this is Nathan Firth, happy service portaling.